You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris, brought to you by the Sioux Falls Job Fair, SiouxFallsJobFair.com. And now I have a link on our website as well. We've been talking about it. Way to go, John. Two weeks. <laughs> had a lady call yesterday. She's like, yeah, you guys are doing the job fair, right? I'm like, yeah. She goes, I'm looking for it on your website. It's not on there. And I'm like, ah, oh, let me talk to the webmaster about that. <laughs> That's me, by the way. It was it was all me. So sorry about that. Uh, but you can find it at uh, SiouxFallsJobFair.com. And it's next Saturday, not this Saturday, Saturday the 28th. What I like about this one is yeah. the first one that I can recall in this town, and normally they're during the week. Yeah. When people this are working. Saturday, so folks Saturday and people morning. go, well, job fairs, aren't those just for people without jobs? No, consider this. At any given moment in the United States of America, literally 65% of people working yeah. are thinking about mm. jumping. I'm going to find maybe a different I job. Yeah. I'm going to go do, do something different. Somewhere else, work to maybe of course, a different line of work. The something. percentage in this studio is zero. But <laughs> other places, not us, you guys. Other places. This was literally my last stop in my in my career, John. <laughs> this is it. This is the final ride this of is me, where, man. This is where all announcers go to die. Is, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I'm saying at all. It's, it has been the last stop for a few people. I don't know. At some, at some point, you just go, I'm, I'm done. When they're done at Sunny, they are done in radio. I mean, yeah, we're, we're never doing this again. Oh, this is a huge, huge day. Happy Tuesday in your sweet little small faces there. Uh, birthday today, Davy Crockett. Nice. Ah. He was the king of the wild frontier, yeah, for goodness was. gracious. He had hats and everything. Oh, holy moly. Uh, but up, 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 uh, Sean Penn, Robert De Niro, uh, Belinda Carlisle. I like Belinda Carlisle. We're going to see her next month, or two months, uh, in, yeah. in, uh, in October. October. Yep. Of course, lead singer for the Go-Go's. Yes, she was. Uh, can you believe she's 63 today? She looks amazing. 63, because you think Go-Go's, well, she must be 24. No. Nope. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> 63 today. Uh, let's see. But uh, 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 Yeah, this is huge. Uh, rapper... Lil Pump is oh he? that is huge. He's, uh, we should have a parade. Uh, well, he's out of Miami and he's twenty one. He's 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 oh, uh he's now little. not so little anymore. He's yeah, twenty one. Twenty one. Some of my favorite Lil Pump tunes: Gucci Gang, yeah. <laughs> Drug Addicts, yeah. and Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah, that's a that classic. was our song when we got married. That's my uh, ringtone. <laughs> and let's see. Finally, oh me! I was born this day. Yeah, I was going to say yes, you. You Dan missed one. Dan was born. Yay. Dan's Happy birthday. birthday to you. Ashbury Hospital, Northeast Minneapolis, which hasn't existed for decades and decades. Only seven thousand babies were ever born in that hospital, and you're one of them. Yeah, it was so funny. I got a letter one day. I think it was in my early twenties, maybe. It's like, what? What the heck is this? Because I didn't recognize anything on this envelope. Right. I opened it up. And it was invite to join like some baby club from Ashbury. Oh my gosh! So the group of That's people. That's funny. That, hey, we were all born in the same hospital. Yeah. We should be friends. And I thought about it and I went, Yeah, I really I didn't know any so. of those people. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. I don't even remember you from the day I was born. <laughs> wow. So yeah, shortly after I was born, they ripped her down. Don't know why. Hmm. Uh, historically speaking, it was 1936. Mr. Niels B. Rudd of Madison, Wisconsin, this day in 36, receives the very first unemployment benefit check in the United oh. States of America. Oh. Amount? How much? 15 bucks. Wow. Niels ran out, bought a Packers jersey and a six pack of old style, <laughs> called it good. <laughs> A block of cheese. That's just a fact, Jack. Out of the world of sports, I love this baseball story so, so, so very, very much. You warned me ahead much. of time we were going to have sports. What is this? This is just uh, phenomenal. It was 1957. Philadelphia Phillies, whiz kid, star center fielder, Richie Ashburn, steps up to the plate, slaps a foul ball, hitting demure, lovely little fan, Alice Roth, in the face, breaking oh. her nose. Oh. Little delay of the game while they attend to Alice. Play resumes. Ashburn steps back to the plate, swats another foul Hits ball, her again. hitting Alice while she's oh being carried up on a stretcher. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Intentional? I don't know. <laughs> we shouldn't be what laughing. What was at going this? on there? Oh, oh man. 
I wish I would have been there for that. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> you never see highlights of this on ESPN. <laughs> wow. It's like he's got it out for this girl. Yep. And oh. speaking of sports, it was this day in 1996. I, personally, me, uh, on a dare, <clears throat> rode a bull in the Crook Stampede Rodeo. Bull named Widowmaker, who honestly had uh, not even a little bit of like for me in any regard. <laughs> you and still then, have uh, a bit of a limp. From you do. That. It hurt 25 years later. It yeah. was awesome. <laughs> so but let this be a lesson to you youngsters out there. Don't do that. Ever. Well, never. not at the age I wasn't considering. I'd never even seen a bull. <laughs> it's not yeah. like I was a professional by any yeah, stretch. Yeah. But, wow, what a well, riot. we are really glad that you're here. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. And later today, we're planning to scrape you off the uh, the Sioux Falls bike trail. So Yeah, yeah, I'll be out. It's a bad idea, my, too, but he's going to do it anyway. My, my <laughs> annual sojourn. Yeah. So what is it you're doing? 10K? Every Roller year for my birthday, I do a 10 It's not a race, and it's just me, and it's just to uh, keep sense. I used to compete in 5K. Yeah. I was an actual race. So just stop at 5K people. today. Do that. Do us the favor. Well, stop. see, I'll, I'll stop internal bleeding or whatever. I'll check myself. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. I hope we have you back here tomorrow. I think my daughter's sending me one of those life alert things. <laughs> Fall out if, and I can't get off. Here you go, Pop. <laughs> if we have Dan on the phone from the uh, hospital tomorrow, you all know that. I'll be good. All Trust right. me on Thanks this. for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you in part by SiouxFallsJobFair.com. I'm Nick from PureCannaCompany.com. We create the purest form of CBD with just three ingredients. CBD, as simple as one, two, three. Everything is 100% natural, GMO-free, gluten-free, kosher, and made in the USA. From the soil to the oil, we provide the purest form of CBD. We also keep the prices low so we can help as many people as possible. Learn more at PureCannaCompany.com. Oils, lotions, bath bombs, and more. Use promo code RADIO to save 10% at P-U-R-E-C-A-N-A, PureCannaCompany.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. And what do you find interesting on this fine Tuesday? Well, you know, people are back to vacation. And oh, yeah. A lot of people gave it up last year. They simply didn't go well because they either couldn't or didn't want to. All kinds of things going on. South Dakota's a hot spot for vacays. And it's so amazing to me. You start dialing around on Al Gore's interwebs, get all Googled up, and blah, 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 blah. There's, it gets... It just gets so detailed anymore. Yeah. And I actually tripped across an article on, if you want to vacation in a place where there are no snakes. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, what? what? That's okay. A, that's the that's Apparently, the it's a thing. Wow. Yeah. Huh. And to me, I thought about it. It's like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of snakes, so yeah, I'll take a look at this. Oh, all right. Uh, if you're planning a vacay and you absolutely want to be in a place in the world where there are no snakes, there's, you know what? It's There's more of them than I would have thought. Ireland, for instance. Never had them, never will. I really? thought they had snakes, and then uh, St. Patrick ran them out. Eh, kind of, sort of, maybe made up. I'm really I'm not sure. Yeah, Ireland still no snakes. Other regions simply, of course, too frigid for them, as snakes are cold blooded, rely on their environment to control their uh, body temperatures. Few species can live too cl- eh, kind of close to the poles. For instance, the common garter snake. Yeah. Right. They can hang on. In fact, you find them all over Sioux Falls. We have some pretty right. brutal winters. Yeah. yeah. And somehow they make do. I've accidentally mowed over a couple of those. I've done that, but not by accident. <laughs> and that's just the truth. North America, let's see here. Similarly, uh, the northernmost bits, and these are snake-free regions, northernmost parts of Russia, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Canada, and the U.S. have no native species. The southern, this one kind of stuns me. The southernmost tip of South America hmm. is serpent free as well. That really? makes sense to me, but there you go. Huh. No, it's, it's also away from the equator, so it's cold down there too. Two states, United States of America, are snake free okay. Alaska? Alaska and Hawaii. Yeah. yeah. So both islands. Cause... <laughs> right. right. Well, yeah, it makes sense. I can't swim. Mm-hmm. Hawaii's an island. Yeah. Alaska's an island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> I just want to make he sure really I'm telling the kids oh, map of the John. United States. And it surprised me because Alaska is just off the coast of Texas. It's, yeah. <laughs> You'd think with cargo ships and stuff, there's going to be a rattler in there somewhere. Would think. They, but no. So Dan and Heidi both really did think Alaska <laughs> was an island <laughs> off the west coast of Texas. <laughs> and I'm sticking with that to the day I die. Look at a map. Look at a map. <laughs> That's up, all I'm punch saying. Punch up United States map. <laughs> and, and look where it is. You it's tell me right where there. Alaska is. That's right. It's always right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> public schools wow <laughs> so i would uh, just just thought i'd uh, share that there are some uh, some 
islands and whatnot that don't have any snakes, but they're like in the Pacific Indian Oceans, there are sea snakes, Ooh. Uh, but there's none on land. Gotcha. So, yeah, do your homework if you want a snake-free vacation. That's that's what I just thought, wow, how is this a thing? Someone must have inquired and somebody Apparently. went, oh, I guess I'll research this. And there you yeah, go. Somebody was Googling that. Found it interesting. I agree. Uh, that's also something I find interesting. But that is a, a little segment we like to refer to as Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Hi, I'm John, and I'm here to show small businesses that radio is a great investment. So what do you have here? This is a Chinese Ming vase. Wow, that looks expensive. And a bit fragile. Yes, it's valued at... Oh, my God, what are you doing? Hey, that was fragile. Why did you do that? To show everyone that radio advertising is a much better investment than some old pottery. I sure hope you had insurance on that thing. Let betterresultsadvertising.com bring your message to life right here on the radio. Here's the legal lady. No priceless heirlooms were destroyed. It was all in your mind. Thanks to betterresultsadvertising.com. Time now for your morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. Mr. Dan Ferris back in the studio here. And you got, uh, what do you got? You look a little sad over there. <sighs> There's hubbubbery in City Hall again. Oh, what's the hubbubbery about? There is hub- Bubbery. I had no idea that this was even a thing, but it's a thing. What's that? For the next few weeks, City of Sioux Falls is going to be talking trash. And they want your feedback, oh. okay. Mr. and Mrs. Sioux Falls. And it has to do with where the heck are you putting your garbage cans? Oh, yeah. You know, what oh. are you doing? What are you okay. doing? I mean, what? Uh, how's this whole thing panning out? We're trying to have you? some sort of standard thing. Well, there is a standard thing. That is what I didn't know. Oh. What is the standard thing? A lot of, a lot of customers, for instance, we're big fans of Sweeney Sanitation. Right. Love them. Nick and Tim and, and the crew. Sweeney Sanitation. Absolutely. Com. In fact, every Tuesday... Monday night, I, I put my trash out on, on the curb. And then there's recycling day, which right. is you know, a whole different deal, whatever. <clears throat> a lot of people set their bins out on the street to make it easier for the haulers. But, and that's with the capital B, that's against city ordinance. And the city wants to remind you of that. Okay, where so are we not supposed to? put them in the street? Now, even on the curb. Oh. Now they loosened up on that ordinance during the big Rona. To make it easier for haulers so they wouldn't have to come so near right. the house, whatever, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> but yes, city ordinance states that your can stay by your house designated area and the haulers have to come all the way. Oh, in I the don't way. like that. That's not very nice. Yeah. That's not nice. Which, but I did. But now they're saying they're looking for public input because they may switch yeah. that. Yeah, oh. I just push ours right by the sidewalk, not <clears throat> not on the curb side just, of the sidewalk, but on the other side of the sidewalk. I so just they don't have to go dump as far. all of the trash on the front lawn and let them pick it up. Okay, because it says here, uh, residents need to keep their containers in an inconspicuous place next to their building, and the haulers will come up, get the containers themselves, take them to the truck, dump them, and oh, that seems how do I know silly. if my space is inconspicuous? Isn't that a gray area? Why would you ask me, do I look like I'm a filthy rich politician Uh, at City Hall in Sioux Falls? I think this Uh whole thing just Lighting Cuban cigars with $100 bills. Yeah, this this whole thing speaks of some (laughs) sort of collusion with the big haulers. City has notified all garbage haulers to remind their customers of the right way. Haulers may not like it. But it requires a little more work and time. But, uh, yeah, like I say, that could change. City is going to be asking residents to participate in an inline survey about their garbage. Uh, I'm still going to put can, mine where I put mine. So I can just I can just go on the inter- interwebs and fill out that survey? Apparently. If I can find it, I'll share it on. Uh, well, I'll share it with you right here. It says oh. if you would like to fill out the survey, <laughs> click here. <laughs> okay. Well, nice. How am I sp- are you going to send that to me? or uh, Probably not, John. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can get Dan to send that to me, I'll post it on I'm our Facebook. I'm going to fill it out because I think that's, that's ridiculous. Will you no, send it to Heidi? You know, I've been here a long time and I've lived in you know various places around town. And I've, I I literally didn't know that there was a rule on this until right now. Huh. I mean, I can see not don't throw, your, throw it out in the street. I get that because people are trying to drive. But yeah. there shouldn't be any reason you can't put it next to your sidewalk. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. I'm going to weigh in on that. The I've seen garbage cans well, like on windy days. I've seen garbage cans just gone. Oh, I've dodged more than one over yeah. the years. Yeah, yeah. It's really windy, and there's garbage cans flying all over. Yeah, it's if like the wind is game. screaming, and I don't think I can secure mine right there on my little little bowl. Then I don't. But that's you right. know that's rare. But that's the only yeah. time. Yeah, I agree. Right. Well, I think the moral of the story is everyone should switch to Sweeney Sanitation. I agree with that. Absolutely. Nick Sweeney. What's his brother's name? Damn. Tim. Super See, Tim. He's the one with the beard. That's how you how tell them apart. That? <laughs> Besides their names. Yeah. Because well, they are twins, actually. Are they? Yeah. I was going to say, they look a lot alike. You don't know nothing about the Sweeney's. Nick and Oh, I do, too. I know they've got Sweeney's. <laughs> Pipe down over there. <laughs> you don't know your Sweeney's. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, if you don't know the Sweeney's, you should get to know the Sweeney's. You should. They are more affordable and a whole lot more fun than any and other garbage owned. service. And nobody knows more about recycling oh, yeah. than Super Nick Sweeney. That you is follow true. Nick Sweeney and you oh. will learn more than you ever yes. wanted to know, but but it's all good stuff. It is. It's fantastic. And, uh, and locally right. owned. Super important. Support local. SweeneySanitation.com. There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost like they're a sponsor, and they're not, but they should be. All right. Hey, Dan, thanks for coming in. You uh, you got some news ready? Because you, you got a big break coming up here. It's your, your oh, second big day of news to me. This news thing, it's it's a pretty big responsibility. But yeah, no, it is. Uh, Another sleepless night the coming up with news. Can do. All right. That's on the way. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you by SiouxFallsJobFair.com. I kind of feel like I've been talking about BetterCreditCards.com forever now. But we want to mention that BetterCreditCards.com is designed to help you get a better credit card. Why should that matter to you? Because this can save you money every single month. There's no fee to check it out. So when you get a minute, click on the website BetterCreditCards.com and see if we can help you find a better credit card. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. we got a really nice bonus right now, Brian Wheat from Tesla. He's got a brand new book out. It's called Son of a Milkman. I love that title. Tell me a little bit about that book, sir. Well, I started writing a book about eight years ago when I turned 50. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a story of my life, basically from when I was a little kid, as far back as I can remember. You know, how I was exposed to music, how I got how I got together with Frank Gannon and put the band together and, you know, went through all these years and the struggles I've had with, with stuff in my life. And, and uh, it's just a, a funny kind of, I approach things with a little bit of humor, so it, it'll make you laugh at times. But uh, it's just basically a story of me and, and, and my life. Being in and I got to tell you, I love the fact that you're honest and you talk about some of the bad times, too. People think, boy, if only I was successful, if only I was in a popular band, all of my troubles would go away. Well, that's not necessarily the case, is it? No, nothing solves all your problems. I think, you know, in life, you have good times and bad times, and you have to you have to learn to embrace them both. And when you do have bad times, you've got to learn how to to get back to good times and, you know, get over whatever obstacle may be in your way. And that's what I kind of talk about at the book. We've had a chance to see you perform with Tesla numerous times, and a few of those times with the band Def Leppard. You guys have got a great relationship, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we've got a real good relationship with Def Leppard. Uh, you know, we uh, our first or second tour was with Def Leppard and uh, on the Mysteria tour. And... Uh, We've been friends ever since, and they kind of took us under their wing. And when we were young, we used to play Def Leppard songs, and we kind of wanted to be like Def Leppard. And then, you know, not too much longer after that point, we wound up being on tour with Def Leppard. And, you know, they were real big role models in our career. So, what was that like going from playing cover tunes of Def Leppard to now you guys actually have your own hits and they have you opening for them and you're touring with Def Leppard? Well, that was pretty unbelievable, to be quite honest with you. I mean, the, and the fact that they're such nice guys and they were so welcome made it even that much more better. you got a ton of big bands that you guys have had a chance to work with, but you've got, again, kind of a special relationship with Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin. Let's talk about that. I met Jimmy in 1995 in London backstage at a David Lee Rush show through a mutual friend named Ross a mutual friend of me and Jimmy. And me and Jimmy just kind of hit it off. And we developed a friendship over the years that's a real friendship. And uh, I try to see him as much as I can when I'm in England or if he's around where I am in America to get together. And it's pretty cool because, you know, as a kid, and still to this day for me, it's always been the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, and Queen. So I used to have, you know, pictures of Jimmy on my wall like every young kid does when they, you know, want to be in a rock band. And uh, now he's one of my, my good friends. So 
It's a very special friendship that I'm very proud to have. Again, our guest right now, Brian Wheat from the band Tesla. He's got a new book out, Son of a Milkman. In here, you also talk about some physical ailments that you struggle with. People watching on stage may never, ever realize this, but let's talk a little bit about that as well. Well, I suffer from autoimmune disease, which is ulcerated colitis. I've had it since I was 14. And, you know, it goes in and out of remission because there's no real cure for it. And there have been times where... I've, I've, you know, one of the issues, I guess, is that people comment on my weight fluctuating, you know, and, and social media people can be kind of cruel. If you put on weight, they'll call you fat, tell you to go on a diet, all this shit. And, you know, and what I said to them is, you know, maybe I just came off two courses of prednisone to control the autoimmune disease, but it put 60 pounds on me because that's what prednisone does to you. And there have been times, especially since we got back together in 2000, where I've had to do that just so I could go on tour. So that's kind of, it was kind of an explanation in effect. Maybe I was going to my own defense a little bit. But, you know, so I talked about that, and I talked about how I suffered from anxiety and depression at times. Brian, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. We appreciate it a bunch. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Again, Brian Weed has been our guest. He's got a new book out. It's called Son of a Milkman. I've got a link to that on our Facebook page. We're also going to see Brian and the band Tesla in a little over a month. It's the end of October at 80s in the Sand in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. I'll throw the information about that on our Facebook page as well. Addiction is a problem for many, and addiction can drive away those you love the most. Addiction can also lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and if you're not careful, addiction can even cost you your life. Timeforrehab.com reminds you that you don't need to let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. From the Sunny News Center, high atop the Sunny News Center, it's time for news with Dan Ferris. (laughs) Wow, this is going really smooth. (laughs) Super smooth. Up all night, burning the midnight oil, burning out, you know, shoe leather, banging on desk, demanding answers, because that's what I do. It's what you do. I'm a news guy. A lot, lot to, boy, a lot to comb through. Apparently, blah, 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 something happened in Afghanistan. Not sure. Let's see. COVID-19 <laughs> variant, Delta, Delta. Oh, here we go. What happened in Nebraska over the weekend? Glad you asked. Garth Brooks uh, threw a little show. Yeah. A little yeah. show. He filled up Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. 90,000 fans. My nice. brother and sister-in-law went to that. There you did go. Did they go to that? They did. 90,000 screen fans for Garth, who's a close personal friend of moi. He's a good dude. Mm-hmm. And apparently everyone had a nice time. Nice. Let's move over to Minnesota. Governor Tim Waltz, who's a hack, has been, uh, and again, no bias in my news, has uh, actually been bribing folks in Minnesota $100 to get uh, to get the Rona vaccine. Oh, nice. Payment is actually a $100 Visa gift card. So far, almost 60,000 Minnesotans have cashed in on that little deal. Governor was so darn excited he extended that offer through the rest of this week up until this Sunday. My guess is Waltz will figure out a way to tax those bad boys at around 90%. <laughs> Probably. Because <laughs> it's Minnesota. Probably. Iowa, Dateline Des Moines. <laughs> <laughs> And if I could read what I wrote, it would be hard-hitting news. I will tell you that right now. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm waiting for it. Okay. Many, uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Some guy really likes the estate fair. In fact, he just moved to Iowa from Nebraska. Huh. A while back uh, to Iowa and apparently really likes Iowa, but especially likes the Iowa State Fair. Is he the guy that wrote the song? He wrote a song. Guy loved it so much, he wrote a song about the fair. His name is Steve Bowen. Song is about uh, deep fried food, concerts, and having a good time with family and friends. At you were the, listening uh, to that song quite loudly a little bit ago. Iowa State Fair. You can actually find it on YouTube, and it is titled Iowa State <laughs> Fair Song. Okay. Huh. Moving on a little closer to home right here in our arena play here. You know, Sioux Falls Public Schools, they fire up uh, Thursday, next Thursday, the 26th. Wow. First day of school. District is still, listen to this, still looking to snag about 200 plus substitute teachers. Oh, wow. wow. This ain't a big deal. It's huge. You don't need a degree. Pretty much high school diploma, GED, whatever. 
No murder convictions would be nice. Nice. We it's could do this. Super flexible. The pay is holy moly, 125 to 140 bucks a day. Oh, wow. Depending on uh, the school. Now figure it out. With lunch break, pretty much uh, you're going to spend five and a half, maybe six hours saying stuff like, all right, everybody settle down. <laughs> or, hey, I'm not going to ask you again. Settle, <laughs> settle down. I mean it. Nice. It'd be like 700 bucks a week. Yeah. So with holidays, right. and you consider about a nine-month uh, school year, you're going to walk away with like $22,000. Yeah, that's, that's not, not bad, too though. bad. That's, that's, not, cool. that's not bad that's at all. A side hustle or if you're retired or something like right. that. I know several people who are volunteer or not volunteer. What do you call it? Substitute, Substitute teacher. Yeah. I know several people who do that and absolutely love it. So uh, very cool, Dan. Thank you very much. You know, you know what else you could do uh, if you're looking for a gig? Uh, be a school bus driver. Whose newscast is this, Heidi? Oh, I know. Sorry. What he just da 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 da. School bus Inc. is looking for drivers. Mister Helpful. Just what? trying to help. Him. It's a newscast. This isn't. This isn't the personal column. <laughs> How do you end this then? What do we? Hey, uh, if it's news, it's news to me. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris and Mr. Serious News Dan Ferris. Brought to you by SiouxFallsJobFair.com. I'm Nick from PureCanaCompany.com. We create the purest form of CBD with just three ingredients. CBD, as simple as one, two, three. Everything is 100% natural, GMO-free, gluten-free, kosher, and made in the USA. From the soil to the oil, we provide the purest form of CBD. We also keep the prices low so we can help as many people as possible. Learn more at PureCanaCompany.com. Oils, lotions, bath bombs, and more. Use promo code RADIO to save 10% at P-U-R-E-C-A-N-A, purecanacompany.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Tuesday, August 17th, 2021. Equity markets began the week on an uneven footing after weaker-than-expected data from China renewed fears of slowing global economic growth. The rise of Delta COVID in China and its impact on retail sales is only the latest risk faced by the market, but one that could spark another 20% correction. The S&P 500 whipsawed from losses near 1% to small gains by the end of the day. The market's attention on Tuesday will be firmly on U.S. retail sales. Last week's surprise decline in consumer confidence may foreshadow a weak weaker than expected report. Analysts are expecting sales to decline by 0.2% from the previous month. A weaker than expected number could easily send the market moving lower. And retail sales data is not the only risk. The market is also looking for earnings reports from Walmart, Target, and Home Depot, any of which could move the market. You can get the inside track in your inbox at marketbeatminute.com.